flesh, Legion marches. Welcome back to the Warhammer 3 in part 2 of our Kugath SFO Grimhammer campaign. In today's episode, we are here where we left off. About a turn later, I just cut out the intern at time. And in the previous episode, we had just claimed all of the Dragon Isles from the lizards that were living there previously. And uh, now we are going to start finding our next victims. So we do need to go ahead and start building up our forces once more. And luckily, uh, some more toads and some more plague bearers have actually dropped into our... Uh, summonable pool there so it's probably a good idea to snag some of these guys fairly quick but what i want to do in the meantime is build up and try to rock a bit more we'll take this up to the unclean copes and give us a few more infections per turn as well as a few more lovely uh, provincial capital buffs three turns and that'll be done our microbial bog is currently moving towards the third tier which will give it six growth in adjacent provinces uh, no actual growth bumps on its uh, on its own more attrition for enemies that are in the area, and then it uh, looks like no more gold for military buildings. But we'll be gaining an extra uh, little grip of Nurglings each time it cycles, which is fantastic. We have uh, no more gold, uh, but the Disney plans were we're going to try to go after Pig Barter here next. As the uh, Legion of Asgore has declared war on the Thunderguts, I would like to try to keep our relations positive with at least one faction coming into our diplomacy. Uh, the only that are actually picking towards positive are the Thunderguts currently, because we were fighting uh, Tefak Spawn, and Gorse Faction, which is kind of meant to be our initial uh, duel. So we we're, I think, supposed to fight Gorsh, and he is very well set up to uh, face us with his armies being all immune to contact effects, which is something Nurgle tries to apply to everyone they can. We're going to come on into our technology, because we've just finished the Spore Diffusion. The decomposing mulch of Nurgle's garden breathes the countless foul-smelling ruinous fungi, which yield a rich bounty of noxious spores. We are going to come on in. Viral incubation would be great if we were in Chaos Wasteland areas, but we're currently in the jungle, so this one isn't going to be helping us out at all. Uh, so let's come on over to Cyst Growth to speed up our cycle time for Plague Flesh Poppy's buildings, and then our building cycle effects are higher. It's a wooden power. Grandfather's children. Exactly. This will work. And then we are going to go ahead and go into channeling stance, try to build up magic as much as we can, and we are going to move to threaten a pig botter. Not going to declare war on them yet, as I would like to know exactly what this army is up to, and if we declare, they're likely to turn around and attack us, as they have uh, all of the player bias. We'll let them just keep eyes on the Legion of Asgore for now, and we will back going over here on the side all right a new mission has been issued recruit 30 units wars raise the length and breadth of this land in such times only the strong can hope to survive we'll gain a banner of hellfire which is going to deal damage to everyone around us and apply a weakness to fire damage with oh, an activated ability okay be much better if it was a passive one but that's fine to me looks like it is oh reading a little bit more help so it's going to be active as long as we're fighting in melee and it's going to affect up to two entities that sounds fantastic we're not gonna have a lot of fire damage on our side here but great to have the extra thick damage coming on out can't quite reach big barter and i really don't trust the undead here where are you hiding sir while our buildings go ahead and upgrade We've not the gold for really much of anything useful. Oh yeah, the the men that we went for was the Plague Gods Nursery, which gives us two control, a drop to construction cost for all of our buildings, and then a drop to enemy melee attack. Uh, the others, for any who are uh, curious, are Foster Cults, which drops, or I guess increases, Nerve Corruption in adjacent provinces by just one, and then Nerve Corruption in the area by four, and drops enemy army by ten. Plague Gods Pasture increases our income, and then chance for plague spreading and how long they last and then drops enemy vigor. And then the Plague God's greenhouse is going to speed up cycle time for infrastructure buildings, increase casualties for enemies, and then give us a bit more replenishment. This will be great for just trying to power through your, your building cycles as quickly as you can, while we're currently using the one that's more for building up in the first place. Which is great. Can't quite reach them. I'd like to, like to claim Pig Barter pretty early here. 
So let's go for recruiting them some more troops. I think we definitely need Plague Toads. They've got bonus the infantry and quite a bit of it. Magical and poison attacks. So I think they're probably going to be the best thing we can recruit here. You might do more Plague Toads. And if we were to go into March Stance, or not March Stance, but a uh, good old camp stance and scoot into your land. I mean, maybe get a non-aggression pact with this clown. You are here. You shall serve me in death. Listen, dude, Forever. I'm I'm almost positive you're gonna stab me in the back when I come try to take out these uh these ogres here. These swamp towns are too useful. We got a new uh, landmark over here that is going to be the hidden swamp. The swamps around Pig Barter were already among the foulest places in the world. As they reclaim the town, it becomes the perfect breeding ground for Nurgle's putrid forces. Gold replenishment rate in the province, recruitment health plus 25 for plague toads and pox riders faction wide, and then all rot flies will have regeneration, which sounds fantastic. We just need to make sure we're not gonna get stabbed in the back by this clown. Let's hope we can make it back if we if we overextend here. Onward to pig barter. Yes, I know we're trespassing. He's really not gonna like us. You know, okay, there's Gorst. He re luckily cannot reach us. Shillman could, but that's not a problem. So even if they decide to do something about it, they're not going to be able to. Works for me. Any deals we can get make? Not quite yet. Oh, Greasus. Does not like us because we trespass with the Blue Roses. I feel like Greasus would be very against the undead being in his valley. Fair enough. Yep, it looks like it's war with Gorsh. He's gonna try to split our uh, one back towards his army. It's not great. Now we can't really go after Pig Barter. A great game, a new god ascends. Oh, it's Nurgle, awesome. Play has been made in the great game, and Nurgle rises to the fore, achieving ascendancy over his ruinous brothers. That means all of our unholy manifestations will be a bit stronger. So what does this mean? That we get 20% hit points and 50% replenishment rate in the local province? That sounds just fantastic. New mission, fostering an enmity. So sign a non-aggression pact with any faction. Well, we'll have to work on that as we have now been declared upon by Mayonnaise Boy. Go ahead and run into March and get back to Shattered Stone Bay quickly. I think we can pretty easily hold the line in uh, own territory there. Okay, do we just go for one more set of toads? Four toads sounds awesome. Then we can replace a few of the nurglings with some a uh, little bit more tanky plague bears. So in the meantime, plague toads. I require to own them. Looks like you get one turn of less replenishment, and then after that they start replenishing like normal. I'm not sure if that is intended, or that's just kind of uh, how things are rolling. Woodcutting camp in the Shatterstone Bay. We can hold the line pretty easily, I think, against uh, Gorsh Papa. Although, Crypt Horrors are a nightmare in SFO. It's almost like they don't take damage. These guys are going to be spooky. In the meantime, though... Oh yeah, Drowsowitz. He sees coming. We maybe sign a non-aggression with Drowsowitz. Here's the... Here's what we'll do. these muckles are no... I will declare war on the Thunder Guts for you. And you will... He doesn't even want us to join his war with the Thunder Guts. Angry. Angry Dawi. Okay, well, our war with the Caravan of the Blue Roses should be enough for now. I'm going to also go ahead and declare war on these guys, but I'm not going to join the war. A fool's errand. Normally, I would agree. What kind of... The legs can we uh, spread here? They're going to help us out. Attrition, although they wouldn't be able to get the plague until they came over towards us, would they? So what we'll do is... Oh, we just go for the pox. Yoink. That'll infect Kugath, and that should spread to the Shattered Stone Bay, hopefully. Indeed, hopefully. All right, then. Let's see what you got, Gorsh. No one's brave enough to trespass on Nurgle territory. Very fair. 
a disciplinarian. Good order should be at the heart of any regime. Order is what we would call chaos. The brown note. Oh, lovely. The droning of Nurgle's plague bearers is feared across the land. For all know it heralds lingering fever rack death. However, an unusually enterprising Taliban drift from their unusual or their usual monotone and chant their chilling dire or dirge in a hitherto unheard frequency. One which immediately loosens the bowels of all for miles around. Good grief. The local enemy province has dropped control by seven. We just probably need to keep singing that song forever. It's impossible to fight while you're turning into a rocket. Hero becomes a legend. Win at 10 battles with any single hero. We are currently winning five battles with Kevin. So we just have to keep him alive for a few more. And where did Gorse's armies go? Hiding. But of course they are. We can't afford any military buildings because we are absolutely poor. Chaos Knights. I want to try to make this playthrough as much demonic as possible. We might have one army that's a uh, Chaos Champion of Nurgle that's kind of sided with Kugath, and we'll have him have a bunch of uh, Chaos Chosen boys like that, but most of our armies are going to be demon-based. I don't mind using the uh, War Shrine either, because demons. The Pit of Mutations is going to drop income. When growth is above 200, we get extra resistance in the province for all of our sieges. That sounds pretty great. I believe it was the normal military buildings is how we get access to... Not advanced. Where are they at? Yeah, the soul grinders. Going to be our most important. We don't have any missile for the most part, so these guys launch a three-round burst armor-piercing plague shot, which is just terrifying. I think what we want here is we're going to have Kugath. You will. I'm going to have you go into an ambush. So ambush out right here, and we'll have another Lord recruit in. Who is going to be some moth. No, we're going to have a Herald. Oh, you guys are expensive. Good grief, everything Nurgle has is just goofily priced. Well. And we need to maybe declare war on the Dissenter Lords of Jin Shin for the Lazargs. The Who all are you all fighting? Just trying to snag a few extra coins. Kualuma. I don't think we're going to be able to, though. Greatest I'll of the dragon princes. Imric not having a new uh, target is a little bit spooky. Uh, so Kugath, how many... Oh, there's three armies here now. All right, things are getting a little bit spicy. Do we want to wait, or do we want to grab another hero? Can we board? An exalted hero or a plague ridden? I'm thinking if we're grabbing one, we're going to grab a... That's bad. Everyone in the army is going to be slower. Others will also feel it. Rotten and gallant. Let them come. Well, that's the one. Samoth von Demortem. He shall be the bodyguard of Kugath. We're not going to be able to use him this next turn, are we? We're going to bring him in. There's so much scarier than the White Kings are. He's got 400 armor piercing. 450. Just stats are crazy different. He's just very slow. He's not going to be able to catch anyone. Maybe we just go for some income. Are any of these income related? Cycle time for military buildings. That'll be great when we actually have some. Hungry, hungry hippo buildings. Troll. No, we should go ahead and save some gold. Seems to be the way here with Nurgle. Skip on through. We already know that diplomacy is a is a moot point here. Let's see if our ambush works. Ooh, we do lure down Gorsh himself. I think it was a close victory with medium casualties. Yeah, he's got the he's got the two crypt horrors, the black coach, and an unholy lodestone corpse court. What does this thing have going for it? We have one in our. Uh, our Kimler campaign, but yeah, 10 additional defense and attack is crazy. Six defense drop for everyone around. 
You know, luckily, the Unholy Lodestone just gives them health. A lot of health, but that's also no extra magical attacks then. Still, the Cryptors are going to be applying their poison to us, and we're not going to be able to do it back, which is going to be very gross. What is that lethal poison going to be applying? Damage drops as well as some extra damage. This should be a very fun fight. We were spotted. We should be able to at least bombard them with uh, noxious goodies all the way over the field. All right, War of the Moist Horde Armies is a go. Start deployment. I'm thinking it is going to be best to try to force all of their guys up on one side here. Knowing where Gorsht and his court are going to be pretty important. It's going to try to have uh, Hugath here bombard areas that are not protected by the corpse court. The unholy lodestone and things. That way you can try to disintegrate these kind of isolated units. Hugath up on top of the hill. A yah. Throw in the plague ridden in the center. We're going to go ahead and throw in all of the nerglings also just right. We're going to have a big old blob of them here. Two behind. Who's left? So we'll grab these guys as a group. Leftover nerglings can also just kind of stay behind. Plague bearers will flank our plague ridden. Pull him back a little bit though, so he's not in the front line. Sounds good to me. So all of the infantry. Heaven does not belong there. Cody's and other beasts. We're going to use the Hounds as uh, they're actually very quick. Once the army actually breaks away, a few of these units are going to break away. The Black Coach and hopefully the Crypt Horrors. They're going to get hunted down by the Hounds. Here he's up top. Come on now. We'll have the Air Force being its own unit. And then the boys. Things that have not been deployed are our Toads. Going to throw them all in the back here. Toads for days. Well, over toads and then the uh, beasts. All right. Four of the hordes. Ugh, I'm just going to scoot you forward and start blasting in on these spearmen. Come on over, Gorsh. Keep the hound dogs in the woods. Indeed. War of the hordes. Retreat? Is that the plan? You attacked me, but you're going to retreat. That makes all of the sense. All right, lads. Whiplash is the first. Oh, I gotta recover from that myself. Good grief. Go ahead and roll the Nerglings then. Up to this position. Still keeping them in the woods. That way, if the Cryptors or the uh, Black Coach moves forward, it's gonna get eviscerated. Everyone but Kugath start making their way in. Gonna be a little bit scrunched. Lady Jones has gotta hold the line there. Maybe we can just have Kugath keep keep moving in to try to blow up these skeleton warriors. It's actually just slightly faster than them. Hound dogs are gonna keep you there, they move very quickly. And then just the maneuvering stages. Dries, come on back this way. Just have you guys not run. Don't use up too much of your energy. Alright, he looks like he's starting to long bomb them towards these. Excellent hit. Four models were killed, but a lot more health looks like it went away. Keep scooting on towards them. In fact, if you can launch those at the Crypt Horrors, that's what we're going for. Ooh, missed that time. They're going to start juking him even though he's not actively targeting him. That's terrifyingly uh, competent on our AI's side. No fire at will for our very limited grenades there. More of the Gorst units we can eliminate before his uh, AoE heals are there, the better. Well, the Spearmen, I think that's one of their more, uh, one of the more scary units for them there.
because what they're going to do is going to leave Gorsh in the back line and we can just have the Hounds go after him. It looks like there's a bunch of ghouls. Ghouls and goblins need to be exploded. Not going to be an easy battle by any means. Switch targets that last group of ghouls. Everyone else, start rounding the corner. Beautiful, hit both units. Our nurglings have been spotted. I'm not exactly sure what they want to do here. In fact, beasts and toads go eliminate this unit of crypt ghouls since they're not sure what they want to do. Then you guys go after this group. Good old separate and destroy. Divide and conquer Gorsht edition. I'm gonna move Kugath to here. Where is our leader of the Taliban? The Taliban, as it were. And let's just go ahead and drop a single overcast miasma of pestilence just to make sure we drop kick these fools into orbit. Cody's in the back line, switch through. Just break the units that are on the sides if you can. You nurgling, just scoot on forward. We're not gonna get any damage on Gorsh himself, but let's keep them worried about the flyers. Sounds good to me. My operation uh, Surround and Destroy is working out wonders. Decimate them. On back. we will be able to launch this right down the line and get some good armor piercing. I mean, you, you drop your heels. Works for me. Nodes pull away. Let everything else handle that. You come on back too, just because it looks like the White King's gonna try to push through the line after you. It'd be a very good idea for him too. You guys come on up, start launching those shots after the White King. Alright, let's go ahead and have you move into melee range. Odie's. This next group of skeleton warriors is your target. We are going to continue to play the game of eliminating his most uh, chaff while his elite stay bogged down in our chaff. No melee attack for any of you fools. No, thank you. Let's go for Curse of the Slug on the White King. Make sure those grenades land. Swarm of Doads, beautiful stuff. And another cast, because every cast we are launching out with this guy is healing everyone around him. I think somehow in surrounding them. Must have got bopped backwards. I'm just going to let them all, I guess, add their bolt to the line and we can hit them all with the poison. Like, like so. Oh, is that what you're going to do? Okay, you guys go take down that unholy lodestone then. That sounds great. No attack for the White King. Keep him useless. These two toads, come on back. Oh, the unholy lodestone for uh, the uh, the black coach crashes into the back. A bold strategy. Go ahead and make sure that black coach is going nowhere. Aids on the White King. Your lord is under attack. Oh no. No melee attack for any of you goons. Keep chucking those nades. The Crypt Warriors, I don't think they've lost a single one. They're just wading through our forces. That's alright. We knew they were going to be nearly impossible to take down. Eliminate. Odes, come on back. Let's go ahead and have you guys go around. Let's 
trying to summon zombies on my beast. Just keep pulling back. He wants to keep wasting his summons. That works for me. You guys, grenades ahoy on. Looks like they're missing the White King. Let's go for the Crypt Horrors then. Should be an easier target. Alright, the Black Coach is gone. Eeries, let's have you come on back around. Jump these zombies here. Make presence felt. Right, any of my toads that are not winning their fight, go ahead and pull on away just for a moment. That way we can get you re uh, reacquired there. More melee drops for these giant blob. This miscast is so uh, not terrifying. It's pretty hilarious. You guys go ahead and smash into these zombies. Don't. No reason to leave them uh, wanting for smacking. Let's turn around and go after not Gorse, but the Unholy Lodestone cart. Then you guys gonna do the same. There we go. Lake Bears have taken a lot of damage. 21 seconds on that one. Right. You Gaff, can you focus down this White King? Would be just the best. Keep rolling this line. Looks like they're going to keep summoning in more and more zombies to try to keep uh, his lads safe. It's working. Oh, we're going to lose the Furies once again. Such is the way of being a fury. Gotta try to over go around and take the cart down now. Round and destroy, please. We're losing lots of lads. If we continue to drop the attack on all of the crit horrors, we should at least lose them less quick. The death of the Unholy Lodestone card is going to be very key. The White King's a champion. You and Kugath go hunt him down. Together. Odie's smash back in. No reason to be out of the fight. The Unholy Lodestone card's down. Come to the back of these zombies to start trying to eliminate the individual units. First the slug on, I'd say Gorscht. Clobber this fool. One of the Crypt Wars is starting to disintegrate as well, that is beautiful. Drop that melee attack. Flies, come on, back away, looks like he's smashed in a little bit too deep there. Which is normally not a problem. Viking is gonna run for his life. Not gonna work for you, bud. We will make sure of it. Right. You start waddling your way over towards Gorst. Pretty devastating blob fight on both sides here. Unending chaff. Double foot. Oh, he's giving him lots of kicks. Good old normal size tantrum. The perfect the perfect is indeed the perfect plague. You guys deal with this white thing. He's got quite a lot of health, but that armor piercing damage should be uh, ripping on through. Let's get these flies away from the combat. They're really not great in terms of uh, melee defense. Hound dogs pull away again as well, so we can get another charge in. Let blast through these back lines. There we are. Rip the plague on through. Oh, we're going to start losing some toads next. I'm not really sure how. Leadership should be fine since Bugass here and we're winning. 
Leadership is broken for most of the undead, but they just crumble so much slower than we do. Go curse the slug on Hellman. Right, White King has been dehorsed. Let's deal with these Cryptors now. Don't want to lose too many of the plague drones. We are going to lose the hounds. That's a layer of the uh, odes. Again, I'm not sure how. Leadership should be fine on those guys. We're actually losing the forest as well, so let's try to rotate the bulk of our troops this way. Come on through and hit the zombies in the back line, try to overwhelm them. We are losing everyone in this little area. Our dissolving takes effect quite a bit faster than the undead does. Gorsh is just not losing health. Duel between the Beast of Nurgle and the Chief Rival. The Beast of Nurgle would not be performing nearly as well if there was only the one of them. I actually petitioned to put the four man Beast of Nurgle team in as a base game. A lot of damage. You're fine. Don't be dramatic. Okay, so it looks like we can't beat Gorsh. Go after his men, then. Break them with army losses. Because he's just thick as hell as it goes up and down, over and over and over again. He regenerates so quickly. Starting to dwindle, though. Come on. Renfalda has lots of testament cookies for those who win. Uh, we don't speak about what happens to those who lose. They're a disappointment. Alright. Lose the speed and the charge speed for Gorst as he just keeps trying to escape. He's down to nothing, but he's going to keep on fighting. His health is just not dropping. It's hilarious. Alright, Toads. As one swarm. We need some Flight of the Valkyries playing every time we have the Lake Toads. And like the Spanish Inquisition, no one's ready for the good old uh, stomach vomit come blasting on out. Know some plague bearers, how sad. There's nothing we can do about it. Too many houses, too many, too many of them in here now. Let's go ahead and pull some guys back. As we're just apparently starting to lose some leadership because of being around Gorsh. This is. You can't lose extra troops for no reason here. Nurglings bogging down, we're gonna lose another unit of toads. It's like for no other reason than just because the game decided to. Sure. Plague bears move on in and surround these last few zombies. He's broken, but so are our toads. Let's go ahead and zoom this in. The elimination of Gorsh. And now we get to see how many of his troops come back from the dead. Lovely. Alright, a pure victory. Yeah, indeed. What's funny is you look across here, they killed almost none of our troops. Our troops were all slain because they lost their own leadership, I guess because they were surrounded by too many stinky boys. There needs to be a little bit of a tweak on all of the uh, the demonic leadership across the board, I think. Because that is... they didn't even kill our troops. I understand the ones that are fighting our Cryptors, but everything else just kind of decided they were going to peace on out. It looks like they only gained back Gorst, a unit of the ghouls, and a few of uh, the other kind of low tier chaff units, so we are going to go ahead and devour these captives because we need the extra replenishment. Martin Grigorovich. Alright, we also have a Leper Lord gain, so extra upkeep production for Plague Bearers and Exalted Plague Bearers. Worst or Ghost. I love that it enables poison attacks. Remove. We already have poison attacks, but like, it doesn't affect Gorst army anyway. It's one of the goofiest uh, defeat traits. 
Extra replenishment rate is awesome, though. Also getting the Frolicker's Bubonic and the Cult Manifests in the Gallows Tree. Beautiful. All the way up here, really. Got a new mission issued. Research eight technologies for a random number of favor, a vile seed, an obsidian amulet, and seven infections. What kind of goodies can we put on in here? Extra infections per turn, more relations with Nurglish factions. Growth in all provinces and construction costs for buildings faction wide redu uh, reduced. Hit points. And then a random plague will be given. It only cost 500. I think we'll go for the plague cult refuge or the extra growth faction wide. We come on back down to Kugath himself. We definitely need more troops. Samoth needs to join Kugath's army here. Of course, being able to survive the battle and, and retreat is unfortunate. Nurgling Tide, a peep reduction for Nurgling units. And we have our summonable explosive Nurglings. Is that more important than making our missiles fly faster? I think yes. As far as Kevin the Stinky, we definitely need more heals. Our heals are in the final. Fleshy abundance. Okay, so we we'll have to wait a bit then. I dream. Transit visitations for secure damage. First of the leper to give us more armor. And melee it, that's the one. We won't be able to have the actual uh, contact effects that that is going to be applying. But we can at least reflect the zombies' damage back at them. Okay. So we definitely need more toads. And I would say more plague bearers. Hold that for now and then see what kind of raids to Dreadrock are available. None, and I guess if we lose Dreadrock, it doesn't matter, does it? Snag those Frolicker's Bubonic. Some extra poised this bonus V-Large Nurglings, which have the Blister back passive. Extra melee and leadership, and some damage reflection. Lovely, we can have two of them. I'm gonna have both of them in this army, then. Indeed. Gath. Two more nerglings. One more nerdling. And then we'll go the back into an ambush. Study. Probably a good idea to stay as close to the settlement as we can, but we'll, we'll still try to ambush them. As we are not, there, were, there were two other armies hanging out with Gorsh, and I'm not sure where they went. Slow start. We're having a good time. Zoom on in, and I think I'm going to go for the pestilent growth here while we can. For the extra crazy amounts of uh, punishment. And even if they don't attack, well then, benefit either way. Beautiful. And... Turn. Alright, they've disappeared and battle is a brutal business. Battle is a blood-soaked affair. Limbs severed, bones exposed, men left for dead on the cruel soaked fields among scores of fallen friends and enemies. Strong weapons forged with time, sweat, and expertise mark the difference between victory and defeat. A good sword cuts clean through the bone, severing heads and limbs where lesser weapons will merely maim. As instability grows across the world, so too does man's bloodlust and his desire for war and carnage on an ever grander scale. Extra base weapon damage for everyone. A new mission, the Cycle of Life. Develop a cyclical building through its full life cycle. Give us 2062 favor, the Armor of Destiny, and extra infections. Capture many provinces. Three provinces and we gain some more goodies. We have too many missions going on over here now. The Ox Where did you disappear off to? I trust you all of zero. I would like to do some recruiting of more cheap if we can. Are Marauders even be useful for us? 120 of them. I guess some clearly decent uh, melee defense. I think I'm just going to go for more Nurglings. Let's scoot a little ways down the, the trail here. He's likely retreating back to the Flayed Rock, Fred Aldura said, while either army is kind of an ambush on either side here. A little bit. Stay in ambush. I'm going to grab two units of Nurglings, and that's it. Submit. 
my research. Definitely need to come on back and just grab any of these income purely. Leadership, cycle time, control, and income. All of those things are not what I need. Apparently making gold with Nurgle is a little bit difficult. Oh, it all comes through your infantry buildings. Your uh, actual recruitment ones. Red very easily. All right, time to save some gold. We just got to stop losing so many troops. I think we need one more at least instead of just raw. I don't know. We need one more unit in Join case. The grandest experiment. All right. Well, if Gorsh is going to hold in the scrap towers solo, what else is defending? Brave guard, really. I think we can take him. We just have to make sure we... I'm going to basically raise this ottoman after we take him down. That way there's a kind of a fire break between us and the other armies of Gorsh. We're going to launch ourselves at them, though. Let's grab... Tough call. Let's go Furies, because they can fly. I require... And now we uh, we attack Gorsh. Onward. Clear victory will give us. We will just lose our brand new recruited uh, Furies. Perhaps, perhaps. We definitely need to lock down Otto von Sinclair. I think another case of trying to lure them on over towards us. I don't believe this is going to be a siege fight, so we can just kind of blast at them with the artillery, making sure they're hitting the most important grave guard. Once the one unit of Crypt Horrors comes on over, we'll make sure it's surrounded and destroyed. Let's get them. All right. So I'm thinking we want to deploy far up on top of the hill as we can. We're going to kind of force them through in this area, so uh, nerglings. Receive the enemy there. Perfect. Oh, other plague bear is getting ready. There's a nice bit of geography here. We can kind of force them around on either side. Great. You here to go duel with the enemy lord. Frolicker's Bubonic will be in with this kind of big blob of Nurglings. You guys can find everyone else, although we can just throw them into the woods here. They can rush out when the enemy does something goofy. Odes. Also hiding. Beautiful. Alright, so we got all over infantry. In group one. Spread out! Marauders can be here to kind of just defend. They're a little bit quicker than the others. Here's our exalted hero. He's going to be a very important both tank and uh, anti-hero character for us. Can't forget you, but armored and dangerous. From our theories, then. Furies and drones, because we know that the bats actually are pretty scary against the drones. Beasts, Air Force, and then the boys. Let's do it. Where are your grave guard, sir? That's who we're going to be blowing up. You missed. The grave guard are over here. I'm sure those shields will protect you from a giant bathtub full of C4 we're launching. Nice hit. They're going to start trying to evade now, though. Maybe they're not. Smash up a few of the units, then. Meanwhile... Yeah. 
Earth. Are you able to land your hits, good sir? Directly in the center. Who guessed that's gonna uh, perfect aim? Giving him the business. From distance. Great weapon grave guard are by far the most dangerous. We keep blasting them, they're gonna have a really horrible day. Center line every time. I'm going into the woods, so I'm not gonna be able to hit them. Let's just go after these grave guard on the other side then. She is luckily, I guess luckily a death vampire. Exalted hero of We had two sets of healing, it'd be a little bit probably more difficult to get things going the way we need them to. Round like so, that's a huge blob of enemies. Amazing hit, Kugath. He's an absolute champion. Here's some Grave Guard that need a hug. Watching the health drop just in a single blast. It is awesome. I'm betting we can probably get rid of these bats pretty quick, but if that misses, we're in trouble. Let's see. What's the damage to air? Really sizable hit there. Slowly waddling in. How is it as anti-air? Looks like only a few of them were dropped. Let's stop that immediately. Keep blasting into the grave guard. That one actually exploded in air. Maybe they've got a few more of them? Or is it just two? Get a bit of an air burst going. You guys put them up like so. Just gonna slow waddle towards us, huh? Worst is staying well back. A bold strategy. I'm just gonna keep you blasting into this one grave guard unit. There's no reason to spread the love. Be much harder to heal that unit once they're fully broken. Erglings, let's have one of you scoot to this portion of the woods. If anyone gets noticed, it's just you. The perfect play. We already know there's no reason to waste these grenades on uh, Gorsh himself because he'll just uh, heal through it. Unspeakable foxes. You guys pull back a little bit more there. Try to get these skeletons fighting as much uphill as we can. We've got some nice uh, chargers going to be coming in for him. I'm out of the woods, you guys go sideways and take you off fire at will. We'll likely use the grenades on the bats or just the crypt horrors if we can help it. Amazing hit. Who got let's go for the grave guards that are hiding in this big blob. Keep pulling them up the hill. You guys do just kind of rotate. They're gonna send all of the bats up that way. Bold strategy. Let's go ahead and drop the attack on all these fools here. I see you, Otto. Keep blasting those grave guard. And we sit in the beast. You hunt her down. These two how these two like toes keep calling them hounds. Here come the idiots. Give them a lesson they won't soon forget. And again, we just have to completely ignore Gorsh and go after his uh, his most elite. 
He's gonna waddle himself all the way over. Beautiful. First of the leper for all of you. Let that spread out. And now that you're in combat, come on around. We gotta find the uh, the vampire here. Slow her to a crawl, and we'll go ahead and drop down the chosen. Let's drop out some nerglings. We're gonna try to have them crash into this back line here. Now dogs away. Come on, nerglings, get in there. Sneaky explosive nerglings, there here they come. Oh grave god. Enjoy. Might have to go through the grave guard. And then Skadoosh. Got a fourth damage on those graveyard units. Pretty good. Where is his horrors? Make sure they're terrible. New zombies, give them a hug. Front wave is wiped out. And move on through. A few toads come on in and smash into this back line here. It looks like the zombies for the uh, vampire has met her match. I would run while you still have the opportunity. Little Spartan kick. Looking for it ahead to go flying here. Flame skulls for Nurgle. Oof. That'll leave a mark. She is going to likely fizzle away of her own, and she just falls over. Now it's just eliminate Gorsh. Now dogs, let's go ahead. Charge into the forest and eliminate those skelly spearmen. Just gonna hunt down Gorsh now. The rest of his units are already eliminated, more or less. Launch some poison through this line, although that's gonna kill more of our own than, than his. We're not quite. not quite the Skaven. Not between poison and a squidgy place. Skeleton should be disappearing rather quickly. Blinking attacks they do not like. All right, you guys come on around. We'll have you smash into the back line from there. Same thing here. Eliminate those skeletons. Everyone now come on over after door, except for the Furies because they're not very well healed. Rising mobility of Nurgle. He's very proud of his new troops. We're gonna make sure they do nothing. And Kugath, you continue to chase off. Hellman. Time for the Brothers Gorse to get wiped out yet again. Come the kick. Double foot kick with those horrifying feet. Gorst, see you later. Nice try. There goes the caravan of the Blue Roses. We just have to now watch out for his other units. There are two other armies nearby. Hit the fast forward button and the zombies will fizzle away to mulch. Slice of victory, and actually, since we managed to eliminate casualties by a huge margin, I think we might go ahead and claim this settlement. If we loot and occupy it, we get 11 infections. I think that's what we'll go ahead and do. Second, it's only going to give us a little bit more gold. I don't mind a rebellion kicking up here, because that'll cause Gorst as much issues as me. Yeah, he used his own plague. Or is it a different one? We've already got the brown note going on. Just <laughs> training. Okay, well, I guess with the brown note included, there's definitely going to be a few rebellions kicking up here in his provinces that he's got left. Good, good.
I am in need of. That's not how it works. That's not how it works at all. Two gas forces are not going to give you anything. The loaded carcass. Anything fired at this vile nurglish sub its immense girth must penetrate many folds of sweaty fat before they even have the slightest chance of piercing his flesh. Punish rate and hit points with all that. All those extra layers of fat. Let's go for a dead eye for reload time and ammunition because he was really good at uh, peppering those graveguard lines before they even got close. First, the leper actually also performed very well, but let's grab the extra replenishment first and then move up towards that. My Some moth. Armor for the whole army. And extra hit points for just him. Grab training first, and then we'll go ahead and grab the Plague Father's Protection for extra army. Or armor for the whole army. Here, grab towers. Can we grab anything as you can give us a little bit more growth or possibly the chaos pressure? Doesn't sound bad either. Less movement. More control. Any of these more attrition? Ah, oh, it's the growth one, the microbial bog. Doesn't sound too bad. We can just get growth working already, as well as Nurglish corruption. Fantastic stuff, and we already have the plagues. We don't necessarily have to spread it on out. It's weird that we're not getting plagues cropping up repeatedly. This game, it just seems to happen, but we're not really going to have to force it. Let's go ahead and jump on into our diplomacy. I can't understand your gobbledygook. Fathers. We're good to go. I'm thinking that the Legion of Asgore are going to be at least moving towards positive. The only issue is the Chaos Dwarves are, are known to attack you even with positive relations if you're not a Chaos Dwarf, so we'll have to keep an eye on them. I would love to come on over and take down Pig Barter sooner rather than later. So you can grab that extra landmark building here. Alright then. I'll give it one more turn and see what the undead have to do as a counterattack here. Chosen. Beautiful. Thunder Lizard at Dreadrock. Within a dark ravine, your tallymen sight the pristine corpse of a colossal ancient Stegodon. The great lizard's presence here is a mystery, but nevertheless, it should become a glorious tribute to Nurgle's love. Call it into the sunlight. Expedited or stuff it with maggots to gain even more corruption. Plague Flail seems pretty strong. This will give Dreadrock an extra corruption. We don't actually need the extra corruption over in the Red Rocks. Let's just, yeah, we'll grab the Plague Flail. All that out into the sunlight, give us ourselves an extra weapon. Lock in Plague Symptoms. We'll give ourselves some fused armor and some extra infections. And the lands of Nurgle are corrupted or coated in pus-filled protrusions. Many simply explode in a noxious shower of filth. From the most bulbous are birthed fresh legions. That sounds just nightmarish. Raise corruption and a control province to 70. We should already have that completed. Issued and completed immediately. And we can come on in here and find the viral incubation is all for. Chaos, uh, chaotic Wasteland, which we are nowhere near to start. Dramatic relations with ornate and Slaneshi factions or upkeep reduction. Let's go for armor and leadership for Nerglings. We are going to have tons of them in the army. The Rot Horde would grow stronger. Not exactly sure what he said, but I agree. How long do we have to wait for military buildings? We're going to go for one of these basic military. Probably the Rancid Aloe here, just so we can try to get yeah, the uh, Soul Grinders of Nurgle. Actually gives us an extra capacity for the Soul Grinder right off the bat, it looks like. It just doesn't give you one. We need to build up towards 3,600 gold. Actually, not that much. We'll go ahead and upgrade the Cultic... Outpost of wood there. Went on with the English Kugath and I tried to go after the flayed rock. I was going to say pig barter, but let's go after 
Good for Flayed Rocks for not worrying about this settlement being attacked. I am going to go into an ambush stance in friendly territory and see if we can't lure out any of the undead armies who don't exactly know where they're hiding. Don't need any replenishment, so I'm going to come into their territory a bit. They're not here. At all. We will go ahead and channel and move towards the rock. Jared the Stench. Only one only He's going to likely come on over and uh, drop kick Scrap Towers, but we can turn around and go after him afterwards. Yes, yeah, as they immediately turned around and they stopped fighting with uh, Asgore. We decided that we were a bigger threat. Boy, in that case, we might need a Hellport. Just for extra income. Alright, I said one more turn last time. Let's one more turn one more time, shall we? Right, well, Nurgle Corruption is starting to take over there. There's no army we can see in Big Barters. So hopefully they've come on down south after Asgore. A bit more favor and some infections and a ruby ring of ruin. Now we've gained some items. I'm going to hand some stuff over to our elite here. So the Plague Flail gives him more strength and direct damage on everyone around him. Also gives Hell's Endurance. Actually, I think he doesn't need it as much as Kevin does. Since Kevin doesn't have any armor, it would be very good to have him just some ward save to help out. Perfect. Root an additional lord. We shall very soon. As far as the elite buildings, do they have all sorts of extra ammunition, summonable units? Yeah, that's how we recruit, duh. Thought we could summon those into a battle. That one just gives us more ammunition. This one gives us more armor for all armies in the area. Cool. We want the Rancid Aloe for our, our lovely Plague Grinders. Soul Grinders. Let's actually go ahead and stop our technology here. And surround the Flayed Rock. Oh, the Yul studies. No one is defending, and so we'll go ahead and just drop kick them into orbit. We still lost a fair number, but that worked out just fine. Uh, we loot and occupy for the infections. Not this time. It is a main settlement. I don't really feel like repairing anything. Greed. Blade shield. Extra defense and even further upkeep drop for all of the nerglings in our army. Don't mind if I do. The plague weaver. And then we'll give you an additional point into Curse of the Leper. Which allows us to overcast it, perhaps. Yes, it does. And all overcast gives us more armor and damage reflection. Which is great for how cheap it is. Blade Father's Protection also sounds awesome. What additional armor? Oh, really? So it doesn't take them up from zero to one? Maybe because of control. Is that the problem here? Yeah, we're at negative four armor because of our control. All right, well, let's come back on over to Favorite Children. Keep that research chugging on along. And with that victory over the undead, I'm out of time for today. I've been at Space Wizard to the War. I believe the light the light god in us. Something's up, though. We'll see you on the next one.